Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video we're gonna be dyeing my hair again. I'm really excited about this one. My hair has faded dramatically. It is so different than the last time you guys saw me. This side has faded so much and I have a lot of blonde peeking through on this side. I'm sure you guys can see what's going on here. I had to do some test strands to see what I would be able to do today. This side has also faded a lot. The yellow honestly is staying in pretty good, but it is still relatively faded. This is what the yellow side is looking like. And obviously the pink is now like a reddish pastel shade. So today I'm gonna be dying over this. And as you can obviously tell, I'm gonna be doing this side blue and I'm gonna be doing this side neon green. I do plan on leaving this rainbow piece, which the color has held up so well on the rainbow strand. I am gonna go ahead and refresh it. I just have some little packets of leftover color that I didn't wanna waste from a long Long time ago from a different video so since I have just a little bit of color of all the different rainbow shades I'm just gonna go ahead and touch up these rainbow bands right here I'm really excited about this hair color I think it's going to be gorgeous it's gonna be so pretty and I'm really excited about it here are the colors that I've mixed up my neon green and my darker blue shade. I do have to go pretty dark with the blue because I want it to cover up this pinkish red shade. And the green, I did make a tiny bit darker because this has so much yellow to it left. I wanted the green to be a little bit darker so that way when I put it on, it's gonna cover up and complement the yellow. Instead of me going in with like a lime neon green right now, putting that over yellow, it's just going to look more yellow green than an actual true green. Here's my green shade. I would tell you what I used, but I used a whole bunch of different greens and just kept mixing until I got a shade I liked. Here's my blue color. It's such a beautiful deep ocean blue. Smells good, looks good. Can't wait to put this on my hair. For my blue, it's really simple. I used X Mondo Super Blue with Lunar Tides Blue Velvet. Like I said, I did do a test strand the other day just to see what my possibilities were like, what I would be able to do to my hair next. Let me go ahead and show you these test strands. So I basically just took this chunk of my hair right here and I split it into four different sections. So this might look like one uniform test strand, but I did split this into four different smaller sections. I wanted to test blues with different undertones. So, you know, there's some aqua blues, there's some deep blues, there's some purple blues. So I wanted to test all the different undertones to see which one would cover up this pinkish red the best. And definitely the Lunar Tides, which is right here, and then the X Mondo, which is right here. They, they look pretty similar. And then obviously these front two swatches had more of that aquamarine undertone to it. And it didn't cover up as well, and it looks kind of muddy and green whereas these back two sections look very, very vibrant and look like a really nice blue shade. Let's go ahead and section my hair so we can start applying the color. I've gotten my hair divided pretty evenly. There are a few sections where the pink has bled onto the yellow, so it kind of looks orange, but I'm just gonna go ahead and dye over it. Okay, here's the rainbow piece. You can see little areas have bled on my hair. It's not that big of a deal. I'm just gonna leave them out. So I am going to start with this rainbow section first, like I did last time. It just makes it easier to, you know, like get it out of the way. I am gonna take thicker sections this time because last time I took really thin sections, but since I'm just refreshing the color, I can take bigger sections since there's already pre-existing color there. I don't have to worry about saturating as thoroughly because I'm just refreshing it. Okay, so I'm gonna take sections that are this big. It's pretty thick, but the color is still so vibrant. I don't think it's gonna be an issue. Because there's already pre-existing color, I can see exactly where I need to put all the shades. So I'm just gonna go down the line and touch up the pink. Now we have the orange color. This orange isn't the most pigmented, so hopefully it shows up and just refreshes things a little bit. Yay, it's looking good. I am using a different blue than what I have mixed up just because the blue I have is super dark. I don't want it to be that dark on the rainbow section, so I do have a lighter blue from Eero Eero that I'm using. Okay, now just like last time, I'm just gonna run through and try and blend everything together a little bit. So there's that section done, putting down a new foil. The pink color that I had on this side of my head honestly didn't last very long at all because underneath wasn't like a nice white canvas or even a yellow canvas. It was like so brassy and kind of like a brownish blonde color. 
So it didn't last long and it didn't fade very pretty. Within a few washes, it was already looking ugly and I was kind of embarrassed to go outside. I washed it yesterday and I had to go to the store. And when I left the house, I like literally put on a beanie and like tied my hair back. So that way nobody would be able to see what my hair looked like cause I'm kind of embarrassed about it. It just looks so faded and not good at all. Yesterday when I washed it and I saw what it looked like, I was like, um, today's the day. I gotta fix that today because it's not looking very good at all. I love this green. I've never had split blue and green hair before, so very exciting. You know, I'm honestly not the biggest fan of Eero Eero's blue color that I have. It's so pastelized and all the other neon shades they have are really, really pigmented and really nice. But the blue color, it's kind of pastel. I was expecting more of like a shocking aquamarine. At least then you could dilute it if it was too pigmented, but when it's pastel, I feel like you don't get as much for your money. I do plan on keeping this hair color for at least a month. I'm gonna try not to wash it very often because I don't wanna have to keep dying over the brassy side. I would like the blue to stick. So hopefully it stays in there for a minute because I don't wanna have to keep dying over it. All right, let's bring down this last rainbow section. The only two colors I've used in Eero Eero shades that I'm not the biggest fan of are the orange and the blue. The orange is also a little bit too pastel and it's more of a pumpkin-y orange versus like a really, really shocking neon color. And it is called neon orange. So it's a little bit lackluster for what it's named. I'm excited to be done with this rainbow piece. It always takes so long and then the rest of the colors just go on so easily. All right, rainbow section's done. Just gotta blend these together like always. Okay, wow, I feel like that went so much smoother than last time. That turned out so well. All right, should we do the blue side first? Let's do the blue side first. I just feel like I want the blue side to sit a little bit longer. Normally I would wanna do the green side first because it is lighter. And if I accidentally get blue on this side, it's gonna ruin it. But I want this side to sit for longer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the darker blue color first. Just be careful not to get any on this side. Are we ready? Let's do it. Mmm, this color smells so good. Split dye is so hard to wash. You have to wash each side separately, but it's kind of my only option for now because <laughs> I dyed this side black and now I'm undoing it. So I'm stuck with the split dye until I can get an even base all over. Also, I'm not putting a mirror behind me. I'm literally gonna use my hands and try and follow a part line back here. Hopefully I get it and everything works out and it looks good. Last time I had success. I didn't use a mirror and I just felt my way around the back of my head and it turned out really good. So I feel pretty confident that I could do the same thing this time. We probably should have put some barrier cream around my hairline so I don't look like a smurf after this. This blue is so dark. <laughs> it's gonna make a huge, huge mess. Oh my gosh. Yay, I'm really excited. I need to get it together. I'm getting blue everywhere. I'm trying to think if I have anything interesting to tell you guys. I did change my upload schedule. I didn't make an announcement about it or anything, but I did change my uploading schedule. I was uploading every Monday and Friday, but I switched it to just uploading on Fridays. During the summertime, I like to be outside, I like to go swimming, and I'm always really happy in the summertime. So I would like to spend more of my time outdoors, swimming at the pool, being in the sun, you know, just living my best summer life. Instead of being overwhelmed and missing out on enjoying my summer, I'm just gonna upload once a week. That way I have a lot more time to enjoy myself. I'm not sure if this is just gonna be a summertime thing or if I will continue this schedule going into fall and winter. I'm not 100% sure yet, but as of right now, I just know for sure I'm just gonna be uploading on Fridays. The other reason I wanted to do that is because I feel like when I upload two videos a week with the same content, so lately I've just been doing hair related videos. I haven't been doing makeup or anything like that. When I'm doing two videos a week, both hair dyeing videos, I feel like people are eventually gonna lose interest. So I wanna go ahead and just cut it back to once a week. And also most other channels that I watch and subscribe to only upload once a week, if even that. 
But I'm definitely gonna keep uploading once a week. So yeah, I just wanna let you guys know. I don't plan on like making a statement, making a separate video telling you guys my schedule changed. I don't think it's that big of a deal. And to be honest, I've been on the schedule now for a few weeks and nobody's really noticed. So, so since I'm only gonna be uploading on Fridays, I've been thinking about maybe going live more often during the summertime. Maybe instead of just uploading on Friday, maybe I can go live with you guys on Mondays or on Wednesdays or something along with that Friday video. That's not set in stone. That's definitely not a commitment. But I was just thinking maybe I could just do that in replacement of a different video. That way I can hang out with you guys this summer and you guys can hang out with me for like an hour or two in my brother's home all summer. So he can be in my lives with me and we can all hang out together. I just think that that would be fun. And for people who don't have friends or don't have anybody to do stuff with, you guys could hang out with me. That way I'm still kind of uploading twice a week, but I don't have to go through the process of doing my makeup, filming my video, editing, uploading, editing the captions, all of that stuff. That way I can just hit live, hang out with you guys and there's basically a second video on my channel and you guys will have someone to hang out with. I'm making a huge mess today with this blue. Pretty incredible how much mess I'm making. This looks like it's covering everything really, really well. So let's hope. I know I did those test strands to see what blue would be best and to make sure it covered this reddish pink color. But there are some areas of my hair that are super dark reddish still, like right up here, it was really dark red. And where I did the test strand, it was kind of just a medium toned reddish pink. So I'm hoping all the areas that are a little bit darker or a little bit more vibrant will be covered by this blue. I tried to make it as dark as possible. I didn't dilute it with anything because I knew I would need something super, super rich in pigment to be able to cover up this. Ooh, I'm so excited. I don't think I've ever had blue and green hair before. I don't think I've ever had blue and green hair. Hello? Whoa. That's kind of crazy. I'm so over this disgusting color. It makes me feel embarrassed. It doesn't make me feel cute at all. The pink was cute for the first like two washes and then it just turned ugly and brassy and orangey red and not cute in my opinion. I honestly probably should have dyed it a different color sooner, but I was trying to fade out as much of this pink color as possible. That way I would have more options on what colors I wanted to go. I was thinking about dyeing this half black, but everyone on Instagram was like, no. So I listened to you guys and I didn't dye it black. My ends are probably gonna be a little bit brighter of a blue than my base. When I did that color remover, my ends faded so much more than up by my roots. So I'm sure this blue will be more pungent on my ends, which is fine. Anything will be better than what I had. Even if this side turns out like a greenish blue, it's still gonna look good with the green side and the rainbow piece. I'm excited, I've never had blue and green. I, I'm like trying to rack my brain and think of if I've ever had, oh, I did, I did one time. I just remembered one time back in like 2014, 2015, I dyed my hair blue, green to yellow. And I kept that for like a couple weeks and then I dyed it something different. But I did have it for a couple weeks. It was a long time ago. How many years was that? It was six years ago. And I don't have many pictures of me with that hair color, but I did look so cool with it. And I did it at home and everyone at the salon was like, whoa, you did that yourself? And I was like, yeah. It was one of the first colors that was really complicated and hard that I had done and accomplished on my own. I was proud of myself. I think I mixed up just enough of this blue. I want to make sure and really, really work this in here. <gasps> Fingers crossed. I can't really tell what it looks like. Hopefully it's a really vibrant blue. And hopefully when I work out, my sweat doesn't run down on my face blue because that would be a little embarrassing. I get my second COVID vaccine in a week and I'm really excited about it. Then I will be fully vaccinated. Yay! And literally, all of my friends have gotten their vaccines too, and I'm very proud of all of them. I got the Moderna one. Please stay blue. Please stay blue. Don't turn a weird color. Please be vibrant. Don't be purple. Don't be green. Be a very deep cobalt shade. I love dyeing my hair, it's so much fun. I've been so, so busy, which is another reason why I would like to cut back to just uploading once a week. I have been extremely 
busy lately and it's not really with anything specific it's just a whole bunch of appointments and small things like that you know like normal adult life Aaron and I just got insurance not too long ago so everything that we've been putting off I've been having to do like I hadn't gone to the dentist in years so I finally went to the dentist and got cosmetic stuff done that I wanted got cavity filled got my wisdom tooth pulled and then we both had to go to the eye doctor my cat he needs to get microchipped because my other two girls are microchipped, but he's not. So he's got to go get microchipped. Um, what else? I've been getting a lot of tattoos lately. I got my stomach done. I got my leg done. I got my hands redone. So my whole days have been spent at the tattoo shop. My husband is going to get LASIK eye surgery. So his appointment is next month for that. It's just a whole bunch of like small things like that, you know? And then I have family that wants to come visit. Yeah, it's just small stuff like that. My calendar is just like booked full. My brother comes home in like a week from college. So he'll be home shortly. This is looking really good, I think. I think it's coded really well. And let's all cross our fingers and hope that this turns out the way that I want into a beautiful, beautiful, cobalt deep ocean blue shade. You wipe off my hands really, really good and we'll move on to the green color. This green is going to be so good and electrifying. We're gonna have to work around this foil I got going on here. I'm really excited about neon green. It's like one of my favorite colors. I'm just gonna dip some dye and kind of smoosh it up under there. God, I hope this looks so good. I think it will. I think I'm gonna be a bad bee. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. Even if I get some green on this blue part back here, it's still gonna look immaculate. And this green dye I'm using is a lot more liquidy. So it's easier to saturate in the hair and it's easier to apply, which I love. Let me see, is it gonna be a neon green? <gasps> I think it's gonna be a bright neon green. I was worried it was gonna be more of like a neutral green and not super vibrant and bright and i want it to be like manic panic electric lizard neon like i said i didn't want to go in with like my manic panic electric lizard because it's already so yellow based and i didn't think it would cover up this yellow very well and it would be more of like a highlighter yellow versus like an actual neon green so i knew i needed to add a little bit of blue in the green and make it a little bit darker so that way the yellow undertones would complement the color and it would come out more neon instead of a yellowy color. I'm trying to work with the color theory my hair has left me with. I think I'm doing a good job. I think it's going okay. This rainbow strip is very aesthetically cute, but it is a pain in the ass to dye your hair with it. Normally I like to go live when I get my tattoos. You guys know, I like to hang out with you because you guys are such good distractions from the pain. So I love going live with you guys when I get tattooed, but because of the placement of my previous ones that I've gotten, I haven't been able to go live. Like my hands can't go live and stuff while my hands are being occupied. So I couldn't go live then. And then my stomach, I can't really talk while my stomach's being tattooed because I gotta stay still so that way, you know, everything's good. Also the color oops smell in my hair is just now starting to go away. And I've washed it and dyed it a couple times and that stuff just sticks in your hair so strong. It does not ever want to leave. It's the worst. Yee! I'm so excited about this green and blue. I hope it looks as cool as what I'm imagining. For this green, I did use mostly Kiss colors. I used a whole bottle of Kiss Temptation in the lime color, let me see. I used a whole bottle of Limelight and then I just added a little bit of a couple other greens, but for the most part, this formulation is that green shade. I needed it to be a little bit darker, so I did add, I forget what all I added. I added a little bit of Good Die Young, their green shade, because I never use it because it's so dark. And I think that's all. And I did some, ooh. This is actually looking really good. I hope I look so cool. Dude, this looks so good. I just have this small little section and then we're done. When you're dyeing your hair split dye, so much easier <laughs> than doing like six different colors in a crazy pattern. Time goes by so much faster and I can dye my hair in like 30 minutes. I have a hair color in May that I'm gonna do. 
Don't worry, I don't have to damage my hair to do it or anything, but you guys are gonna kill me when you find out what I'm doing to my hair. You guys are gonna be mad at me, I already know. You're gonna be like, why are you doing that? But you know what? I wanna do it, so I'm going to. <laughs> but you guys will kill me, for sure. When you see that thumbnail uploaded, you're gonna be like, what the hell is this girl doing? Let me see if this is gonna be dark green. Oh, bitch, this is gonna be so bright. I'm so excited about this. Look. <gasps> I just got smacked in the face. All right, you guys, I am going to let this sit and process for an hour. I'm just gonna hang out, drink a monster, watch some TV, and let this process. And of course, I'm gonna rinse using cold water. I'll rinse the blue side first because it's so dark in pigment. Then I'll go ahead and rinse the rainbow piece and then I'll rinse all of this green area and I'm going to pin this side while I rinse this side, hold the rainbow piece while I rinse this. It's all complicated, but I'm gonna keep it separate. Rinsing in cold water, no shampoo, no conditioner, just rinsing it out. I'll see you guys once I have all that complete and I'm gonna be a bad bitch once again. Mark my words, I will be a bad bitch, okay? See you guys in a little bit. Bad bitch, here we come. It's a bad bitch party you cannot get in. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. My hair looks so, so cool, you guys. I don't know what I was expecting, but I did not expect it to turn out this amazing, like this blue shade. It's just unbelievable. And this green turned out so good too. It's like a perfect neon green, exactly what I was going for. And refreshing the rainbow was definitely a good choice. At first I was thinking about not refreshing it and just like putting conditioner on it, but I'm really glad I did. It just amplified the colors and just refreshed everything. And it looks so, so good. I cannot believe this blue covered up that red so good. Look how beautiful this is. I'm obsessed with this hair color so much. Look at this. It's so cute. <laughs> I'm really excited. Also, while I was waiting for the dye to process, I realized it's Earth Day today. And I dyed my hair blue and green on Earth Day. And I think that's really cool. And it makes this hairstyle even better. I didn't have any problems rinsing it. There was minimal bleeding, which surprised me on this side. It didn't bleed very much at all. And the blue didn't bleed very much. And it's a really, really dark blue. So I was very surprisingly, happily shocked that there was not a lot of bleeding on either side, which made it so much easier to rinse. I am keeping this color for a hot minute. I plan on leaving my hair like this until the end of May when my roots need bleached. So I'm gonna try and preserve this color as much as possible and just keep it this color until the end of May when I need to bleach my roots. And then we will do the color that you guys will be very angry at me for, but that's okay. Cause I'm really excited for it. and I'm looking forward to it. But for now, I am loving this color combo so much. It turned out so good. Like I can't, I can't believe it turned out so good. I'm just very, very impressed and happily surprised. This blue is gorgeous. It's like a denim ocean blue. Love it. And it makes my hair look really shiny and healthy. This green is really pretty too. Oh my gosh, I love blue and green. It like makes my mouth water. These colors are gorgeous. I'll go ahead and turn around and show you what the back looks like. Bad bitch is back. Ya bad bitch is back. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. And also I show you guys hair colors way in advance. So literally the day I'm filming this, you guys saw it on Instagram. So if you want up to date hair colors, definitely follow my Instagram because you guys know all the details and you guys know what color I'm doing the day I'm doing it. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And until next time guys, stay weird. Goodbye. Hi.